CBS News foreign correspondent Charlie Daggett joins us now from London. Charlie, what else do we know about the investigation at this point? Well, a manhunt is underway, Stephanie. Um, the London mayor, Sadiq Khan, said it's underway as we speak, and there are hundreds of investigators who are looking for the person responsible for leaving that bomb on that subway train at that station. Well, not at that station necessarily, but on that train. Now, we have to remember, this is Britain. There are CCTV security cameras everywhere, mm -hmm. including on that train. This is something that was put into place after the July 5th, uh, excuse me, July 7th bombings in 2005. So there will be CCTV footage, not only of the train itself, but the train stations. They'll be looking at that. They'll be talking to eyewitnesses. Uh, but the important thing is there have not been any arrests made yet. Uh, we know more about the bomb. We know that there was a timer on it. We know that there are uh, screws on there, uh, sometimes used as shrapnel in similar bombs like this. It also used the kind of material that we'd seen uh, in bombs uh, in similar attacks and terrorist incidents in the past. That is what has drawn the attention of investigators. That's why it's so serious. And, of course, we still have a suspect who is on the run. You know, President Trump, as you have heard, Charlie, tweeted out this morning that the people or the person who carried out this attack were terrorists already known to Scotland Yard. Do we know if any of that is true? And how are British authorities responding to that tweet from the American president? Well, Stephanie, that was certainly the implication. Uh, president Trump uh, claimed on Twitter that a terrorist attack involved sick and demented people who were in the sites of Scotland Yard, certainly suggesting that there was information that the British had and possibly, by extension, the Americans had. Um, when she was asked about uh, Trump's potential breach of convention on intelligence sharing, uh, British Prime Minister Theresa May was critical of the U.S. president, saying, I never think it's helpful for anybody to speculate on what is, what is an ongoing investigation. Uh, the Met Police uh, jumped into that, saying the president's comments were unhelpful and pure speculation. So... That yeah. is that was the reaction here. Uh, again, the suggestion is that uh, British authorities know who the perpetrator or perpetrators of this attack are, and Americans know as well. And they're just not providing that information. Um, that whether or not that's true would be speculation on our part. But as far as the Brits are concerned, uh, that is um, just essentially seen again their words as unhelpful and speculative. Charlie Daggett, a reporting from London. Charlie, thank you. Thank you.